Hey everybody, it's Bob from WorkloadMaster.com with another quick Outlook time saver. As you may know, we, along with everybody else in the time management training business, teach you to use a daily task list or to-do list to keep track of your activities for the day. However, if you're not careful, that list can become a real burden to you. And that's because many people make the mistake of collecting all of their tasks that they have to do between now and the end of time onto one daily task list. And at the end of the day, when they don't have everything completed, they have to move all those tasks to the next day. Instead, we suggest that you do horizontal planning. That means sprinkling your tasks throughout your week or throughout the month on the days that make the most sense. For example, if you have a report due on Friday and your book's solid on Wednesday, don't bother scheduling that task for Wednesday. Put it on Thursday when you have more time available. There is an excellent tool in Outlook that gives you a very clear picture of your workload balance, and that's called the Task Timeline. Let me show you how it works. And by the way, I'm working on Outlook 2007 here. Outlook 2003 works the exact same way. Now, the Task Timeline is located in the Task View. So I'm going to the, go to the shortcut icon called Tasks, click it, and it takes us to the Task View. On the left-hand side, you see there are several different views within the task view. Towards the bottom, here's the one we want called Tasks Timeline. I'm going to click on the button and reveal it. And let's give it a little more room. We need some more space for this, so I'm just going to left-click and drag this divider, slide it over. As you can see, this is the day view, and if we had them scheduled for specific times, which I don't recommend, they would actually be spread across time. There's also the week view, which shows all the days in the week with the tasks that are scheduled, and then the month view. I think the month view gives you a very good graphical depiction of your workload balance. For example, look at this person here. He has, I don't know how many, what's that, 16 tasks scheduled for the 26th. He also has several appointments for that day, so he's probably not going to be able to get to that. So at the end of the day, when he plans the next day, he's going to have to actually move these tasks over to the next day. Instead, he's better off scheduling those tasks for the days where it makes more sense. As you can see, for future days, he does have some tasks spread across several days, which is a better way to do it. So if you feel you are constantly overbooked, take a quick look at your task timeline to get a clear picture of your workload balance. Thanks for watching this Outlook Time Saver. And once again, I'm Bob at WorkloadMaster.com.